Welcome to We The Kicks Vault. Welcome to We The Kicks, episode two. What's up, We The Kick Army? We're back for episode three. It's the- Kicks Master Cooks. We're here, we wanna talk about some fours. So what's up, We The Kicks Army? Episode five, so we're going- episode six, end of the year episode. We're back in the vault. Episode seven. So, you know, we, we've got almost like, this is episode eight. Welcome to episode nine. What's up, guys? Episode 10, we made it so far. We're going strong. Thank you for joining us. Stay tuned for a great episode. Contest alert. What's up, guys? It's the Fresh Prince of Kicks, your boy Cooks in the house. Let's talk about a couple unboxings here. So, I'm a big fan of this designer from Off-White, the owner, the the guy who designs everything, Virgil Abloh. Dude, this guy is the man. He did those Off-White Jordans, everyone knows. Let's talk about his actual Off-White shoes. I saw these online, I thought these were hype, I needed them, let's take a look at them. Comes with a cool bag, traveling bag, you know, very, a step up, let's call it, right? Because you are paying a little bit more of a premium for an off-white shoe. So here they are, guys. There you go. There it is. I did an Insta post about these, but I wanted an episode. I wanted these on one of my episodes. So here you go. So here's your off-whites. You know, your Virgil Abdul on the tongue. You have your normal off-white tag. Listen, some people say, oh, it looks too much like the Converse. Listen, he's doing his take on what he grew up with. And what he grew up with were Nike and Converse. And yeah, it looks like a Converse silhouette, but you know what? That's what he knows, and this is his take on it. I dig it. I'm gonna bust these in the summer hard. So you have your two little plastic things there, one saying off-white, the other one blank. Again, cool sh- cool thing, Valca- a vulcanized sole on the bottom. These are hype. Everyone should have at least one pair of non-Nike off-whites in their collection. Welcome back to the vault, guys. Episode 10, we made it far, guys, and I'm so happy everyone's been along for the ride. Stick with us. There's big things coming up. And when I say big things, your boy Cooks means a contest. See these? These are Yeezy Statics non-reflectives. So let's take a look at them first, okay? And I'll tell you a little story about behind these. I bought these online. I then got an email saying, they were still in your cart. I purchased them again. So after a while going back and forth with a shoe company, Champ Sports. Anyways, um, they ended up sending me both pairs, although it said one per customer. So you know what that means? My We The Kicks Army, I'm giving away a pair of 11 and a half, still in the box, from Champs, Foot Locker, still in the box, never open, 11 and a half, non-reflective static Yeezys. Are you guys in? Stay tuned for contest information. I know you guys want them. What's up, We The Kicks Army? You know, there's been a lot of hype around these uh, Nike Adapt Basketball, or Earls, the second edition. Well, let's start here first, guys. This is the Hyper Adapt One. This is the running shoe. It was released in 2016, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let's just take a quick look at it. So okay, this is the collector's edition. This is the first one that came out. This is the special box, uh, StockX, if you look them up. You can find the shoe without the special box and without the presentation for cheaper. But uh, you know me, the sneaker head, the collector wanted to have this. As this being the first, let's call it uh, accessible um, self-tightening shoe. You know, they had the Air Mag out there from the movie Back to the Future, and if you look on prices, like an official Air Mag is like $30,000. So no one's having that in their collection. So this was the first one that kind of allowed people to have that technology in their collection, so I got this. Let me just show you quickly how what's inside this box, and again, Uh, Cooks and We The Kicks will take a further look at both of these in the future episode, show you how they work, how they actually like show you all the mechanisms, but just so you see it out there right now, it comes in a gorgeous box, hyper adapt, you have your running shoes here, Earls, you have your chargers there, your special uh, instructions here, everything you need for your electronic shoe, and again, we will show you everything that is involved in these shoes in a a further episode. 
So that's where it all started for me when it came to the electronic shoe, let's call it. So now everyone, like I said, started this. Lots of hype around the Nike Adapt Basketball. Earl's, second edition. By the way, uh, Earl stands for Electro Adaptive uh, Reactive Lacing. So let's open up this box. Let me just put this aside for a sec, guys, and then we can open it up on here. Let me just open up the box and give you guys a quick little look at what's inside the box. And again, we will have a closer look at a future episode. Um, so it opens kind of like this, okay? So let's see, right here, let's pull one out for you. So there it is, lots of packaging. Oh, there you go. So lots of, pa there you go, so there it is. There's your official Nike Basketball Adapt. So there's your lights on the side, everything self-lacing. Let's just show you what else is in the box quickly. Um, so there's the other shoe, show it's in the box. And the crazy thing about these is, the other ones need to be plugged in. The first edition I just showed you, well, these don't. So what this is right here is a mat, a charging mat. Just like you put your iPhone on a charging uh, mat, you can put your shoes on a charging mat. There's no more plugging anything in. So what a crazy concept. Again, we're gonna, we're gonna walk you through the whole, how they work, how they charge everything in a future episode. I wanted you guys to take a look at the future of shoes. What I do respect is Nike takes chances like that, like this, where other companies don't. So shout out to Nike. And again, look out for our episode where we show you the ins and outs of Nike basketball adapts. What's going down, we the Kicks Familia? Your boy Cooks here. I got another unboxing for you, and I really dig these. Uh, you know, fours are my favorite, but Jordan 1s are a second, close second. So these are the Air Jordan 1 Mid SE Special Edition Black, White, and Gold patent. Want to take a look? Here we go. So, listen, to each their own on these, but I love them. And there you go. So you got your patent all the way around the shoe with your black. You have your gold swoosh. You also have your gold and black emblem at the top. Now listen, these are a cool shoe. You may not, uh, not, may not be for everyone, but when it comes to me and Cooks and what I think you know, a shoe should be or what Jordan or Nike is trying to do, change things up, make things cool, this is a good job. Shout out to you, Nike. So again, these are the uh, mid SE special edition Jordan 1s, gold, black, white patent. Check them out. Again, another pair you don't have to pay so much to, to look amazing. What's up, guys? Episode 10 is out. You know what that means? I promised a contest. I'm giving away Nike Yeezy non reflective static size 11 and a half, still in the box, unopened from Foot Locker. Listen, guys, here's what you have to do to win the prize. In episode 10, I talked about some shoes. You tell me what two of those shoes have in common or the people be behind those shoes have in common. Also, tag three people that might be interested in following We the Kicks on Instagram or Facebook and subscribe to YouTube, and these shoes could be yours.